is Robin here with Mattman and Robin. Welcome to the channel where I like to encourage, inspire, and include you in packing Operation Christmas Child shoe boxes year round. Today I'm really excited. We're doing a Barbie box, but not just one Barbie box, two. I will only unpack one, but here is one. And oh gosh shaking the camera and here is two and these guys are identical the only differences between the two um i think their bandanas might be different colors and i know their bows are different colors but other than that they are 99.9 .9 identical same everything so let's go ahead and get into this box we'll do this one First, this box is actually from Ikea. It is a larger box, um, but it is not too much bigger than a regular Operation Christmas Child shoe box. Um, I put them next to each other and asked Matt Man if he thought that this would still be considered a shoe box, and he goes, yeah, sure. So, from, you know, the man's perspective, <laughs> they're the same. Um, and, I needed a bigger one because there are some items in here that would not fit size-wise into a regular Operation Christmas Child shoe box. So, it is for a girl aged five to nine, and I have wrote on the end, written, I writ, uh, whatever, grammar, English. I wrote on the end of it um, just to help me when I have them stored um, in my room to know which box this is just in case there's something in it I need to get to or something I need to add, or if someone asks me a question about this box, I can go back to it and it's easier to locate in my storage room. So, um, when she opens this box, the very first thing she's going to see is this wow item. So this item right here is the reason that I used this really big Ikea box. This item um, you can pick up at Dollar Tree and it is a little cardboard cutout that has items in it so that you can play house with your Barbie. So the thing is that it is too wide for a regular Operation Christmas Child shoe box. And in fact, it was too wide for this box. But what I did is I opened up um, the packaging I took it out and I refolded it so that it was thin enough, narrow enough to fit in this box. So there is one little space where I refolded it and there are a couple other items in here um, along with this one that I kind of had to get a little crafty on. And I will shoot a, an additional video just to show you what I did with those Barbie items so that they would fit into this shoe box. So, this is her first wow item and I love it because the inside of it makes a little kitchen and then the when the reverse of it makes like a backyard scene. It also comes with some stickers and these three little uh, cardboard pop outs so that she will have more things to play with. So the next thing in here is her backpack. This is one of those really cool five-star um, built-in backpacks. So it is a pencil pack and a backpack. I left all the packaging on this one just because it shows um, the little girl what it is and how to use it. I don't typically leave packaging on, but I decided with this specific one, I did want to leave it on. So she gets this really high quality, amazing, backpack that I got at Walmart on clearance. And I've seen these two years now um, in the clearance section. So, Bella, come here, Bells. Bella, come. I don't know why she's crying, but I'm just gonna give her a little pet and let her know I'm here. It's okay, Bella, you don't have to cry. Um, we're still having bug issues in our backyard, so she doesn't get to have as much free time to go outside and play Just because we're protecting her from those buggies um, But we do take her to the dog park a lot to get her energy out and we haven't done that yet today So she just has a lot of energy The next thing in this box 
is this llama corn. I love this. I got this on after Valentine's, no wait. Yes, after Valentine's Day clearance. It was a cute little plush and they had so many of them. So I picked them up. I can't remember, but I think they were like $1.50. So with um, Dollar Tree's prices being what they are, to be able to get this high quality stuffy for $1.50, yes, all day long made my day. Now, the next thing in here is really fun, and I also have left it in its packaging, is this really fun Barbie play set. It is a table and two chairs, and I specifically picked this play set to go along with this cutout, because if she puts it on the inside of this one, it could be their kitchen table. And if she flips it around and uses it on the outside, it could be patio furniture, which I think is what it's kind of designed to be. But really great. Um, I saw, I believe Trish, yes, Trish from Bird Feed opened one of these up and put it together and showed us the really great quality. I purchased another style of this furniture and opened it up and put it together just to test for myself. I love it, I recommend it. If you see these, these are very much worth it. So I got these two things to go together. And then also her Barbie. So this is her Barbie and this is how I put her in here. Um, I did put this snack size. You have to get the long vertical ones, but I put this over Barbie just to protect her hair. And actually this is a skipper. So um, the other great thing about this specific Barbie, I'm gonna pull her out so you can see her. A, she's gorgeous, but B, she has bendable knees. And so I specifically picked this Barbie set to go with this table and chairs so that she can sit properly with her knees bent at the table. So that's just my only tip about these is to be careful which Barbies you send. And make sure that they are bendable so that they can utilize the chair properly. So um, the other thing about this skipper is that um, because she is a skipper, regular Barbie clothes don't really fit her. They're a little bit too big. But last year I did find two sets, and they're in here, this one and this one, of Barbie clothes actually at the Dollar Tree. Um, and this was before their prices went up and before they became the like Dollar Tree Plus where some things are worth like three to five dollars. So I got each set here, this little set and this dress for a dollar each and then they came with little accessories which I will show you momentarily um, but I tried these on regular Barbie and they're really tight and really short but I tried them on skipper and they fit her perfect so I did include two changes of clothes for skipper in her little accessories bag I also included this tea set here um, so that she can play on her table like it's food. And then there is also a mirror and a comb in here that I got at Daiso. So I have included this in a bag that is way too big for it so that she has a place, a reusable bag to keep all of her Barbie accessories. But this next thing, I am so excited to finally get to show you on my channel. This idea is a thousand percent from Denise from D Rogers. You should go watch her original video that um, inspired me to create this. She made a video called Barbie Receives a Shoebox and it filled my heart with so much joy that I wanted all of my Barbies to receive a shoebox. Look at this little shoebox. Isn't it so cute? So I made a little printout it will be linked below. It's free. I did get approval from Operation Christmas Child because I'm utilizing their logo. Um, and on the bottom of it, it says, I edited it. This is an older one. It says, God loves you, Jesus loves you, and we love you on most of them. Um, but here is the printout. This is what it looks like. And I've had some people ask me if I could remake this for a larger doll. Um, and I would just say, 
that my recommendation would be to use this one um, and then just size it up on your printer. You know, only print the box part and make it as large as it will fit on your piece of paper and utilize it that way is my recommendation if you want it to be larger. I've also heard people say that they are going to print these out and make them um, Christmas ornaments for their Christmas tree at church for the Operation Christmas Child um, display that they have at church. I've also seen people say that they're going to make earrings out of this. So um, utilize this for whatever you want, but you're not allowed to sell it um, I, because and that's not me, that is just from Operation Christmas Child. They did give us permission to use this, print this out, and make it, um, but we have to use it only for Operation Christmas Child purposes. So the other really cool thing about this on here, if you will notice down in the bottom, I printed out a little mini, um, The Greatest Journey. Since this little girl, when she receives her box, she will also receive that booklet called The Greatest Journey. So I wanted her Barbie to have one as well. So when we open this up, here is what it looks like. It's so cute and perfect. And it just has a, a little inside and a back and that is it. And here it is next to Barbie, Skipper. So I'm going to make a separate video showing you, just like I mentioned earlier, how I cut this out and folded it and glued it all together. Ah, so exciting. Thank you so much, Denise, for this amazing idea. I just, I had to make it a printable and make it shareable so that every Barbie can have a little box. And thank you, Samaritan's Purse, for allowing us to do this. So, what did I put in Barbie's box? Um, is also why this bag is so big so that these items can go back in this baggie once um, she opens the shoe box. Well, Barbie gets a visor that matches her little outfits. Barbie gets a, uh, let's see here, a pair of sunglasses that are pretty cool. Barbie also gets a purse, and this one is blue. This is one of the things that is different in the other shoe box. She has a purple purse. Um, Barbie gets a little water bottle. Barbie gets a bracelet. Maybe it's so tiny tiny little bracelet. Um, Barbie gets two hair clips, one and two, and Barbie gets another pair of shoes. The last thing in here is actually a washcloth, a little purple washcloth, and that goes with what we're going to see next. So just so you can see one last time, this is what the little box looks like. I tried to make it as close to an Operation Christmas Child box as I could, and I really hope that you enjoy using these. Thanks again, Denise. So here is the thing that the little towel goes with, and this is her second Barbie. Um, these two came as a set. It's called like Skipper's Babysitting. I got this on super clearance last summer. I think I paid $4 for the whole set. So it was such a great deal and I always like to include at least two Barbies so they can play. So this is Barbie number one and this is Barbie number two. This little bathtub can be filled with water or it can be played with just as it is. But if you do fill it with water, you can squeeze the rubber ducky and it makes bubbles. So I thought that was a lot of fun. And then here is the little baby that Skipper is babysitting and she splashes in the water. So I just loved this set. I love the shoe box and I'm so excited to finally get to do a Barbie box. So now that Barbie is out of the box, here is everything else that we put in here. Let's get to it. This drawstring bag was contributed by Melody. Isn't it adorable? It makes a little heart. When it's closed, it looks like a strawberry kind of, but in here I put her hair accessories. So she does have a set of clips like this. She has two of these kind of hair ties in case she wants to do pigtails. She has two of these barrette clips and a whole set of these tiny rubber bands in case she herself wants little braids or really I kind of thought of playing with Barbie's hair when I put these in. But either way, they're for her or her Barbie. 
And then the hair accessories that would not fit in this adorable little bag is this bow. So this bow is a little bit different from the one in the other box. It's still a really vibrant printed unicorn bow. It's just a different print. But I have also attached it to a headband. So no matter what her hair length is, she will be able to wear this beautiful bow in her hair. And the way I package it is I just leave it like that and then I wrap the headband around the center. So, and then I put it in the box just like that. Sorry, I'm trying to keep everything organized over here. I don't wanna lose any of those tiny little Barbie pieces. They're so little. Okay, there we go. Barbie accessories safe. Next is her bandana. Um, and I got these in a two pack from Dollar Tree. So this was what one of them looked like and the other one was all pink. Um, and it goes with this lanyard. I really think that they are the same print. It's kind of hard to tell because this is so small, but to me it's the same. And this was contributed by Tracy. So thank you so much Tracy for this beautiful lanyard that matches her beautiful uh, bandana. And then next is her flashlight. Guys, I love these flashlights. If you're new to the channel, this will be the first time you've seen them, but if you're a long time viewer, you know these are my go-to, my ride or die. They're crank flashlights, so they don't depend on batteries or solar power. As long as you have the ability to give this guy a little crank, the light will work. So um, I got this specific one from Dollar Tree at Christmas time. They're also available on Amazon and I will link the Amazon link below, but they're not this color. Next is her little jewelry pack. I love this. Oh, this is also different in the other one. She has the same items. They are just um, different. So she, um, this little girl is going to get these three earrings, a silver one, a butterfly one and a blue bow and the other little girl is also going to get three but they're three separate ones three different images here is a little ring for her this one is a heart and I think the other one is a star and then this set of necklaces from Denise it is a necklace and a bracelet in here and um, the other one is a lighter pink but they're this it's the same just a different color also from Denise so thank you for this um, this set I will link this below from Denise had so many really cute um, necklaces and bracelets and most of them I think are appropriate for the two to four age range but I thought this one since it's just all the same color beads um, that this was appropriate maybe for the older shoebox for five to nine so that's why I picked this one um, a great deal um, if you're looking for necklaces and bracelet sets. I really love them. Next is this one. This one's a little bit controversial. Is this 10. So these have been available. I've seen them at the um, Target dollar spot and also at Dollar Tree. Um, if you can find them at Target, they are a quarter cheaper, which adds up. Um, you could get five for five dollars at Target or four for five dollars at Dollar Tree if you see them. However, I do want to tell you that people have had some difficulty making this work. So I made some modifications and I will get to those in a second. First, I want to show you the additional things that I shoved in here because, you know, you don't want to pack it all this empty space. So I also included in this box a set of washi tape, her chapstick, and this one is adorable. It actually has Barbie on it, and this Barbie is in her book that we will see in a minute. And two little figurines, because I put two of these in every girl box. And these crosses from Annabeth and Ashton. If you're watching, thank you so much, Ashton. I know Barbies are for girls, but I hope that you're enjoying watching this video. So now here is the actual toy and what it comes with. It comes with this set of 
dresses and accessories and then this set of accessories as well. So the controversy is that this image here um, is come, the way it comes is cardboard and it's really thick and the magnets would not stick. Here, I'll pop one out and show you. The magnets would stick to the metal, but they would not stick through the um, cardboard of this image. So what I did, and I'm gonna add this in that second video, so there will be how to do the um, Operation Christmas Child Barbie shoebox, how to modify the cardboard house so that it fits in a shoebox, and how to modify this so that it works. What I did is I very carefully took the image off the backing, the cardboard backing. So now this dress fits and stays. Um, and all I did is I double side taped the image. So there's no Mod Podge, there's no sticky glue. It's just double stick tape. And I pulled the image off the cardboard backing. So that is my tip on how to make these work and how to make them less controversial. Um, I did leave them <coughs> in this flat format because I felt like I could pack easier with it in here. But I also included this little reusable Ziploc baggie so that she can put all of her magnets in here once she takes them off of or out of the original packaging. So. That's my tip, and that's the only things in here that I modified and kind of had to get a little bit crafty with, um, and those are the things that will be in that additional video when I get the chance to shoot it. I think I'll have to wait until Matt gets home so I can use his camera as well and have two angles to just help. So it might be a while before I upload that video. Okay, next is her cup. Um, <clears throat> I got this cup. And on Walmart clearance, I think like they might have been 50 cents for a set of six of them. So it's really cool. It is uh, color changing when water goes in it and it is a, a pale pink and I think it just turns to a darker pink when liquid goes in. In here is her whistle that was contributed from Angie. These I just recently got, I will link them below. I love metal whistles. I've seen them from other places as well, but I just think that the best place to get these is online. Um, the other things in here, I do have this bouncy ball. I didn't want it to stick to anything or heaven forbid it melt. So I put it in this little plastic zipper bag. Um, oh, I love these. I put one of these in every box as well, just little Google eyes. This is my favorite party favor to include in a shoe box. I think that this is one of the few party favors that has more than one application of play. So I thought this was fun. And then there are two Hot Wheel cars in here. And I picked these two because um, this, when I was growing up, this is what my Barbie car looked like. It was this model of a car. So I know that that is old from like the 80s, but it still reminded me of Barbie. And then uh, this really cute, T-top, it still seemed kind of girly and, you know, Malibu Barbie-ish. So she has these two Hot Wheels cars that reminded me a little bit of Barbie. Um, the other box has two different cars, but they also are very similar to this, except this one is red. So very similar cars. Here is her personal items pack. In here is a pair of underwear. They are size 12, which is on the larger side for a, um, five to nine, but I just, I like to include larger because they can start wearing them now and grow into them. And then this is just a plain white mask, um, just for safety reasons, health reasons. In the future, if she needs it, she has it. And then the last thing in here is a pair of fluffy socks. These are so cute. Um, I got these actually at Target on after Christmas clearance, believe it or not. Um, that's another thing that is different in the other box. This came with a set. One of the pair of socks looked like this, and the other pair of socks was pink with a unicorn on it. So that's what the other girl got, was the pink unicorn ones. But these are so fluffy and soft and just a lot of fun. Fun socks for a fun girl in her box. Put those back. Eee. 
Um, I also have a poppet in here. I got these at the Dollar Tree, so be on the lookout. I haven't seen the large ones in a while. Um, I did get these back when they were still $1. But they do have the small ones pretty frequently, and those actually fit better in regular size boxes. Um, these ones are kind of hard for me to fit usually because the wow item is taking up the, so much space, but because this is a larger box, it fit nicely in here. I have also included a set of playing cards from Denise, thank you. This will be so much fun for her and her family to play some games. And I have included a set of false fingernails um, and they are Barbie. I know that's kind of hard to see because it has a reflective background, but I did keep them in the packaging um, for a lot of reasons. One, because it's fun to get a fun package. It says Barbie all over it. But two, um, it just, I hope that it would help her know what they are. And three, I thought that really fun silver reflective paper, um, she could have a lot of fun with it. You know, making little mirrors and stuff for her Barbie. And then shoved down in the side here is her card. I love these cards. Um, I actually got them from Hobby Lobby. They were blank invitations, but aren't they beautiful? I love them. So I, on the front here, I wrote a little note for her. It says, hello friend, my friends and I packed this special box just for you. We did this because God loves us. God loves you too. His love is so big. God loves you, Jesus loves you, we love you. Love you lots, Matt and Robin from Texas. And then on the back, here I wrote our um, email address that is just for shoeboxes. And then I also taped, nope, this way. I taped on here the translation in four different languages of what is handwritten on the front. So that is how I do my notes. And we're getting down to the bottom, almost there. This is a hygiene pack. Now this actual bag was contributed by Dawn, so thank you so much Dawn. I love these bags um, and I recommend these for all pencil packs, all special pouches. They come out to be less than 50 cents and I will link them in the description below. Um, in here, I have included a Hot pink washcloth, I got these in the set from Walmart. I think they're a great quality. Um, I would use these in my home. In fact, we have the same type of washcloth. It just happens to be from Kohl's, but it's the same quality and my family prefers these. Like, we have the big fluffy ones too, but we fight over these first and then use the fluffy ones if these are all dirty. So, to each his own, I think these are great quality. Um, I also have included in here this really fun Barbie toothbrush. This came in a set of two from Dollar Tree. I have included this um, Ikea spoon. You get a set of four. I think they're 80 cents now, So, but still great deal. Four high quality spoons for 80 cents. Um, here is her soap and the soap saver is from Angie. So thank you so much, Angie and the soap is still in its original packaging. And also I have included in here this amazing comb given by Denise. It's a real high quality rat tail comb um, so she can play with her Barbie's hair or she can um, part her hair and do pigtails or braids or whatever with these rat tail combs. Perfect, amazing, love them. And the last thing in her hygiene kit is this Miss Manicure kit that I got at Dollar Tree. It's kind of a splurge, but I got a bunch of them at Christmas time. It does come with a really nice set of nail clippers and a fingernail file. I added the safety pins and then just this printable how to use nail clippers in this little pouch. I loved it. I thought it was so much fun um, for the older girls. So. I included it in this one because it's pink and for Barbie and you gotta have it. So that was everything in her little hygiene pouch. Next is her very full, large pencil bag. And things in here were contributed by Sonia, Valerie, Tracy, Lynette, Angie, and Denise. So there are so many great things in here. 
Um, let's get to it. Oh, this pencil bag I actually got at Five Below, and this is my recommendation for where to get pencil bags if you want to find them in the wild for one dollar. This is high quality. I like these better than the ones that you can get at Walmart for like $2.50, I think, and way better than the ones this year that I saw at Dollar Tree that are almost like paper. So be on the lookout for these at Five Below. Um, in here, she has a set of four Ticonderoga pencils, a fairy wand from Tracy, a pink pearl eraser from Sonia, um, she has a fun glittery gel pen, an additional red pen if she needs to give it to her teacher, a really fun, oh, there's a feather on here. I wonder where that came from. Um, a really fun hot pink mechanical pencil. She has a set of Fiskars scissors with the cap. I gave her two pencil sharpeners. I did give her that really high quality metal one and this fun um, pink one from, actually, I think this one actually came from Daiso, but they are available at Dollar Tree. Um, here is a set of six colored pencils for her. They are Crayola brand. Um, a six inch ruler from Angie or 15 centimeters, depending on where you are in the world. These two, eraser tops. These are from Sonia. Oh guys, her highlighter. I love it. I found this highlighter at uh, Hobby Lobby and I looked at it and I thought, oh my gosh, those are cute. That's really affordable for what I think that is. And I picked it up and it was so light and I'm like, wait a minute. This is not what I think it is. And I had to double read that it was a highlighter. Look at this highlighter. Isn't it cute? It looks like a fingernail polish. I love it but if you open the lid, it's actually a highlighter. So I did include a little note. This is mainly for the processing center in case they see this. It just says, this is a highlighter, not nail polish. So they don't confiscate it from the box. But I love these little highlighters. Um, a set of crayons from Jessica with Foothills Family. This really fun bookmark and a set of stickers. This multi-click pen, these adorable erasers. I actually got these at the 99 cent store for half off. So these were 50 cents um, and there are two boots. Aren't they so cute? And a purse. And it also came with two high heels and a purse and that's what's in the other box. So it came with what, six erasers for 50 cents and they're adorable, yes. And then the very last thing in here are her novelty pencils. Um, two of these are actually from Tracy and I wanna pull this one out and show you that it actually matches her little journal that I gave her. Um, I don't know where Tracy got this pencil but it has the same exact images as this little journal. So I was really excited when I got that pencil. I immediately thought of that journal. Um, so speaking of this journal, I got these. They were originally marked $3. I, people, please do not pay $3 for this. Look how thin this is. It's very flexible and bendy. Would be great for pencil packs if you see them. I got it for 25 cents on clearance at Walmart. And inside is some really cute images on this lined paper, a great journal. Now the reason that I wanted to include this additional lined paper for journaling is because I'm so happy to finally put in graph paper. Ah! Um, okay, so this is a graph paper composition notebook from Angie. Look at it. We learned um, from Kayla Beretta, who is a missionary in Colombia, that most other countries use graph paper the way that we used lined paper. And they use lined paper more sparingly the way that we use graph paper. So I'm so excited to finally get to include some graph paper in this box. And even if she is in a country that uses lined paper, um, she will still have to, she will still need this for math class anyway. So, yay.
Yay, graph paper. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, I just, I'm, I'm excited to finally get to put this in a box. Okay, three more things, and then we're finally done with this very long video. Thanks for sticking around. <laughs> I've included this 600 stickers of Lisa Frank because they're just so glittery and so much fun, and I thought Barbie needed some Lisa Frank friends. There are so many stickers in here, um, and I get this at Dollar Tree. I think it's worth it, even for $1.25. This is amazing. Every time I see them, I try to pick up a couple, so... I also have this Barbie coloring book that I picked up at Dollar Tree when everything was still a dollar. I have not seen them since then, but my new recommendation for coloring books is to go to Dollar General. They seem to have the largest selection for still one dollar. And then even at Walmart, some of their coloring books ring up for like 98 cents, but not all of them. A lot of them are like three dollars. So that is my new recommendation for coloring books is Dollar General. And the very last thing down in this sweet, precious box is this book. Now this book um, has a lot of words, like a lot of words. It is very wordy. And the story is basically of the, the prince and the pauper, how they change places and they better understand each other's worlds. Basically, um, this princess and Barbie change places for the day and they learn about each other and the princess learns about the people of her land um, and then they switch back and have a party. But the, the, um, the images are so sweet and it's so just quintessential Barbie that even if you cannot um, understand at least there's just so much Barbie to look at. And here is the Barbie that was on her chapstick. So anyway, that is my double Barbie box. The first one that I got to show you, the first time that I got to show you this really cute um, Samaritan's Purse approved Operation Christmas Child shoe box for a Barbie. And I just, I loved this box. It was so much fun to put together and I hope that you, are inspired to make a little tiny shoe box for your Barbie box as well. Um, let me know in the, if you have any questions in the comments below. And that is it for today. And in case no one has told you, I love you lots. Bye.